you want to hear a weird fact? I'd love to. Do you know about anglerfish? Yeah. Well, did you know that the males are around 40 times smaller than the females? Really? I didn't know that. Wait until you hear how they meet. It gets even weirder. Go on. Because they live at the bottom of the ocean, and there's like no light, that makes finding a mate like a bit difficult. So when a male finally finds a female, he bites onto her, but he doesn't let go. Over time, his body degenerates and his skin fuses with hers. Then, he spends the rest of his life attached, feeding off the nutrients in her bloodstream and providing her with sperm whenever she needs. He's basically a parasite. That's horrifying. It's fascinating. So they take till death do us part quite seriously? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that why you needed to call me? Do you really think I'm needy? What? I didn't say you were needy. But you just asked me why I needed to call you. No, I didn't mean it in that way. I just meant it as if you were so desperate to share the fact about anglerfish that you needed to call me. If you say so. Are you okay? <sighs> oh, you know. Have you got any plans this weekend? Not really. My parents are really getting on my nerves. I don't know how much longer I can stay at home for. Are you still looking for flatmates? I'm trying. Even if I did manage to find someone, I doubt I'd be able to afford it. Not on my apprenticeship wages. Anyway, how are you? How's uni? What are your plans? Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's a bit hectic with this new module, but I'm glad we're going in now. Got a good handle on the semester on Zoom. God, you're so lucky. Jeremy's still keeping us all at home, even though we're supposed to be going in now. I feel like I can't get anything done while I'm at home. And my parents have no respect for my space. Once, I was talking to a client and then my mum barged in and started shouting at me because I didn't hang up the washing, even though I told her that I wouldn't be able to because I literally had work. Do you know how embarrassing that was? It made me look so unprofessional. Oh, and don't even get me started on the internet. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm sorry, you don't care about all that. No, I do. No, it's not fair. I'm sure you're probably dealing with your own issues. Oh, um, before I forget, it's my flatmate Lizzie's birthday today, so we're going to go out later. Oh, that's nice. Tell her happy birthday from me. Why did you need to tell me? I just thought I should let you know. I don't want to worry you. You think I get worried a lot? I don't know. I'm not saying it like it's a bad thing. I'd be worried too if I called you and you didn't answer your phone. Okay. I'm sorry. Why? I feel like I've upset you. I just... I, I don't want you to feel like I'm, I'm clingy. <laughs> You're not at all. It's cute. Honestly, I'd tell you if I thought you were being clingy. Would you, though? Wait, are you on the toilet? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was bursting. <laughs> no, no, no. You've got to go when nature calls. Anyway, I guess I'll let you go for now. You don't have to. No, I'll let you in peace. But I'll call you later, yeah? Anytime, handsome. Alright then, bye beautiful. Have a nice time. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye, love you. Love you, Angela. What is that? <laughs> um, mango juice, beer, wine, vodka, coke, and oat milk. I call it liquid gold. I'm gonna message our local and ask them to add it to the cocktails menu. Well, I call it vile. Why can't you straight non drinks? Where's my cider? <clears throat> In the freezer. Ah, oh. oh, there she is. Um, 
Thanks for coming out tonight. I was worried that you were going to cancel. Of course not. I thought you were going to miss your birthday. No, I know, but like, what with the presentation coming up and... Well, yeah, I just didn't know if you were going to be up for it tonight. The presentation? <laughs> oh, no, not going well. Not really. I emailed my lecturer this morning. I just hope I can get an extension for it. Well, I've got nothing to do on Monday, so if you want, we could go to the library together and I can help you get it done. Got to call Liam tomorrow. Yeah, but surely that won't take all day. Well, obviously not. But if I'm in the library, I won't be able to answer. Well, just tell him you've got a deadline coming up. I say the presentation has slightly more priority right now. He's just not having a good time. Yeah, but he knows that you have other commitments to keep with work and you, you surely he understands that. You don't know what he's going through. His work's been really stressful recently and his relationship with his parents is going downhill. And he's missing me a lot. Like, before I came to uni, we used to see each other every day. And now there's just nobody there for him. What about his friends? They're not the type of people he can go to. How come? Well, they're all men for a start. They don't really have that sensibility. I just feel like I need to be there for him right now. You are there for him. But he can't expect you to be there for him every single second of the day. Like, he just can't. Well, who else is going to be there for him? He's 20 years old, Angela. I'm sure he'll be fine. You have no idea how upset he gets. Yeah, well, then he needs to, I don't know, get some sort of therapy. It's not fair for you to be dealing with it all on your own. Are you sure he's got absolutely no one else he can talk to? No, that's what I'm saying. I'm the only one he has right yeah, now. Yeah, but who's there for you? Because you don't talk to me about anything anymore. Yes, I do. Do you? Every time you come in and I ask how you are, and you always say, oh, I'm tired, I'm stressed, I've had a long day, and, and I have no idea how you are anymore. I'm fine. I don't think so. What kind of girlfriend am I if I can't be there for him when he's going through a hard time? Yeah, well, what kind of boyfriend is he to always call you and just be, like, all over you whenever you're at work and uni? Oh my god! What? <laughs> this is why I don't talk to you anymore! You're so argumentative! Why can't you just support me? Angela, I'm supporting you right now! No, you're not! You're just playing devil's advocate! Devil's advocate! I'm your advocate! I'm thinking of you! I'm trying to help you! Then help me! Stop telling me I'm doing everything wrong! Liam? What took you so long? I was with Lizzie, I told you. What's happened? I can't do it anymore. What, what do you mean? I, I can't deal with them anymore. I, I've had it. With who? My parents. Who do you think? Why can't you be a competent girlfriend for once, for God's sake? I'm sorry. Stop saying sorry. I don't want sorry. What do you want? What What can I do for you? Just be there for me. I'm sorry I haven't been there for you. No, you're not. You're halfway across the country at uni and I'm stuck here all by myself. You don't have a clue what's going on. Then tell me. What's the point anymore? You can't help me. You don't even want to help me. You know that's not true. You don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to come. What? What? Sorry. Is it Liam? Who's that? He's really bad. I need to stay on the phone. No, no. Put him on speaker. No. Put him on speaker. No. Are you ignoring Give me the phone. No. 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 Give me the phone. No. Give me the phone. No. Stop. Stop. Angela, just give me your phone. Listen. Give me your Get out! Sorry, I'm back now. Are you still there? Liam? You don't love me anymore. You've never once called me. It's always been me that's called you since you moved. I have to take responsibility for everything. You know that it's been so hard for me and you can't even find it in yourself to care at all. I can't believe you. What the hell do you want from me? What can I do to stop you from calling me all the time? Why can't you just listen to me for a change? Why can't you support me? Why can't you just 
Grow up. I'm sorry. What the? Lissy, I'm so, so sorry. That was so horrible of me to... Look, 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 look. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm still in the courtyard. I'll wait for you. Come on, let's have some fun tonight. Okay, I'll be down in two seconds. Okay. See you in a bit. I love you. I love you too.